everybody. We're back with our old friend, the author of Learning to Pray, Father James Martin. Now, Lent is approaching. There's already mm -hmm. been so much loss, so much uh, mm -hmm. necessary uh, uh, denial of mm -hmm. things that we want to do. Do you have to give up something this year? Because we, you and I have talked. You always give up. What is it? You give up three things, right? What, what are they? Yeah. A Jewish friend of mine calls me, my friend Rob, and he asked me to give up, let's see, a food, a spice, and a candy every year. That started in college at Penn, and okay. he still does that. And, and, what, and why did he want you to give those up? Well, because when I was in college, my Jewish friends said, you know, who decides, you know, what you give up for Lent? And I said, I do. And they said, like, well, where's the sacrifice in that? We should tell you what to give up. <laughs> so, so now they, they did it, and now my friend Rob... Uh, and his wife, Andrea, and his son, Daniel, they call me every um, Ash Wednesday, like in the morning, and say, these are the things you should give up. So they tell me. So do you, do, you, do you know yet what you're giving up? No, no, no. Ash Wednesday, I find out. Yeah, it's a big, big surprise. They, they sort of think about it. And then I do other things, obviously, other than giving up, you know, cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wouldn't be that too hard for me because it tastes like soap to me. Mm -hmm. So that would be okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Jim, it's so great to see you again. My pleasure. And I'm Good so glad back. you're almost deal, uh, done building that hut behind you out of books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling. Learning to Pray is available now. You know him. It's Father Jim Martin, everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you, Father. <laughs>